ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ചാനൽ ടുഡേ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ സി അബൌട്ട് സെറ്റിംഗ് അപ്പ് ദ സിപ് അപ്ലിക്കേഷൻ ഫോർ ബി എസ് എൻ എൽ എഫ്റ്റി ഡിഗേജ് കണക്ഷൻസ് യൂസിങ് ഹോ വൈ ഇ ജി എയ്റ്റ് വൺ ഫോർ വൺ എ ഫൈവ് മോഡൽ വി ഹാവ് ഓൾറെഡി സീൻ എ സിമിലർ വീഡിയോ ഫോർ ദ സെയിം മോഡൽ ബട്ട് ദാറ്റ് വീഡിയോ എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻസ് ദ സെറ്റപ്പ് ഫോർ വി ലൈൻ വൺ എയ്റ്റ് ത്രീ സീറോ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി വിൽ സി അബൌട്ട് ദ സെറ്റപ്പ് ഫോർ വി ലൈൻ വൺ എയ്റ്റ് ഫോർ നയൻ so let's get into the video so first we will begin by connecting the modem to the laptop and then i will open up browser in my case i am using chrome here after opening the browser enter the default gateway for the modem which is 192.168.18.1 you can find it in the back side of the modem also after entering the gateway it will take you to a login page where you have to enter the username and password the username is ep admin where e is a capital letter and the password is admin ep uh, uh, here also e, e, e is in caps uh, you can find a different username password in the back side of the modem uh, you can log in using that also but it will provide only a limited settings so this interface will provide a full settings of your modem after logging in and so after logging in go to system information and see you can see that uh, both the vans are connected now this is the normal setup which the uh, which the vendors will provide when they are giving you the modem what we have to do is uh, we will select the van first and select the void van and delete it because we can't edit the uh, van interface i mean we can't change the service mode in huawei mode base so that we can so that we have to delete it here and now uh, click the internet, internet van remove all the ports from the bottom here binding option so here binder only ssid one here uh, remove all the ports no ports should be binded in any of the vans after removing it uh, click new Uh, when you do it and do this the router disconnects for uh, for a few seconds after that it will connect automatically after you do, do, uh, after you have done this click new uh, select enable van encapsulation modus ip oe protocol ip4 van modus root and service type as voip internet this is important service type as voice voip internet and enable the vlan and enter the vlan id which is 1849 in this case you can use the other other options blank and simply apply the ip acquisition modus dhcp after you have applied go to system information again to check whether your van is connected so when we come here we can find that both the vans are connected now again come to settings select route uh, before that before going to route uh you know for some devices only changing the van the zip worked so for checking that you will open command prompt and enter ping ping and type your zip address and in my case it is tn.ftdh.ims.bsl.in and so you can see the ping request fails which means the only changing the van will not work for quite devices now we will add the root here Mm, come to the root option select ipv4 static root only select ipv4 static root not any other things now here click new so yeah, before you click new one thing is uh, from the van info page Uh, under the voice internet you have to copy copy the default gateway uh, you can find it here only when you click the van it will apply, uh, appear you have to copy it as i am doing it here and after that now again come back to root ipv4 static root and click new and 
in the as the address form it is ip and in ip address enter uh, 10.0.0.0 dot .0 .0 .0. i will tell you why in uh, in the last part and the subnet is 255.0.0.0 .0 .0. the gateway is the one which you copy it down and the van name is warp internet don't select the internet van and now you can apply when you click apply you can see that your yeah, uh, route is added there is no routing table i think yeah, there is a routing table here but we don't have to see that so now select again new and we are adding a second static route which is with which goes with ip 172.0.0.0 and subnet goes as 255.0.0.0 the reason for all these things will be explained in a, in a previous video which is given in a card above i will just follow the procedure in this video and if you want to know the reason please watch that video also after you added the two static routes see there are two static routes here now now again open cmd You see, when we try to ping uh, the what is that? The zip address as a domain, the zip will not ping. You can see here the zip will not ping. But when you ping the DNS of the voice, the DNS will ping, which means our static root works. Mm, so the setup in the modem is almost over. We have changed the van and added two static routes. That is the only setup in the model. If you have watched our previous videos, we have set the same there also. In this model also, this, this is the procedure. After you have done these setups, then now we can simply ask our time doing this. Uh, so there is one more thing we have to do. What, what is? Uh, we have to resolve the domain as the address into an IP and check whether that pings. So what I'm going, what I'm doing is. I, uh, there will be a default ping option inside the modem interface here under maintenance under maintenance I enter the domain here in target <coughs> which is tn.fts.ims.bsnl.in <coughs> the van name is VoIP internet mm, the other things let it be by default and click start and once the ping test is, uh, completes you can see that there is a latency and all but that is not needed what you have to do is you have to copy the name and the, that is the address the domain will be reserved into an IP address you have to copy that address and now you can ping it here and see that the domain pings you, ca uh, you can't enter the same IP in the uh, Swiper application or the, we have to enter only the zip if you enter the same IP it won't work uh, but I, mean, I, I must have mentioned a different procedure where we can enter the, the disaster served IP in the outbound proxy site so when, after installing Swiper I am going to check the second procedure first and if it does not work we will go with the first procedure so after the second procedure is entering the resolved IP in the uh, updown proxy site without changing the adapter. So now after installing Swiper we will, we will give this basic request here. You can skip here. I can use it give a yes here if you are not willing to pay. <coughs> and the username is uh, for 1849 please note this the plus 91 followed by your area code area std code followed by your landline number so after entering the, entering the username the, you have to enter the password the password is ftth followed by the symbol at followed by the last four digits of your landline number There are some noise going on in the background, but these are just a 
F T T H H followed by last four digits of your landline number. After you have entered all this, click create an account. Now it will ask your host name or provider. Here you have to enter your zip address followed by a colon followed by five zero six zero. So uh, I will go with T N dot F T H dot I M S dot B S N L dot I N colon five zero six zero. and in this step you have to click use anyway now you have to enter the authentication username and the outbound proxy the authentication username is the same as the username which is plus 91 followed by your landline number <coughs> the outbound proxy uh, you can enter the zip address as such but uh, as i said i am trying the second procedure i am enter entering the reserved zip address that is the ip ip form of the zip address which is 10191960.49 colon 5060 For the state of Tamil Nadu, and if this doesn't work, what we are going to do is we will change the adapter settings. This works for some devices. So I don't know. It is not working for some, and it is working for others. And so here the two SIP TCS fails as usual. SIP UDP will succeed usually, and in this device, yes, you can see SIP UDP fails. So changing the uh, proxy does not work in this step. I mean in this device. Oh, now what we are doing, doing is going inside Wi-Fi interface, selecting the Wi-Fi which we are connected, and select the edit option. And there, under advanced settings, click the IP settings from DHCP to static. Change it from DHCP to static. And here you have to enter a manual IP, which will be uh, see since the gateway is 192.168.18.1. Uh, the first three sets of digits, which is 192.168.18, should not be changed in the IP address. And the last part we can give any number from ranging from 2 to 250. I can add 52 also, but uh, uh, generally 2 to 250. Here I have entered some 50 number. And the gateway as such, and the DNS one. We have to enter the DNS of the voice gateway, which is 172.30. I mean, you can copy the same from the modem interface also. Uh, under the system information, WAN, voice WAN. Select the primary DNS there and enter it in here. That's the DNS one. So in my case, it is uh, it is ending with 11. It may vary for you. After, after entering DNS one, enter the DNS two. Uh, I am using Google DNS, which is 8.8.8.8. You can use any cache DNS or BSNL DNS or anything as you like. <coughs> and now you can see um, TLS fails as usual, TCP fails as usual, and UDP succeeds, which means the setup is success. Now you can click finish and enter the basic settings of the application, which is uh, you know per give basic permissions here and enable the DND access and all. Instead of Swiper, you can use um, Grand Stream Wave also in mobile. There are many such apps for the publication, but Cyber is widely used and uh, the interface is user friendly and is good. See, uh, now you can click the dialer and click the internet number and, and the number you want to dial. And before that, you add a zero before that, and you can call and the, your call will be connected. So thanks for watching. If you have any queries, please mention it in the comment section, or you can contact us through Instagram or Telegram. And if you like the video, press the like button and also subscribe to the channel. Along uh, and if you have any friends using this BSNL devices, please share this video to them also. And once again, thanks for watching. Bye, and we'll see you from another video.